Hey everybody, so this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how we install R and RStudio on Windows. So I'm just going to take us into my desktop here to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our favorite browser, whether that be Chrome or um, Edge or something, and we're going to search for R, literally the letter R. So a few different things might come up that start with the letter R in your search, but just leave it at R and hit enter. And you'll find that the first link that comes up is the R project for statistical computing. So we're just going to click on that. So this page isn't really easy to navigate, but what we see at the very top is it says to download R, please choose your preferred CRAN mirror. So we're just going to click on this download R. Now that takes us to this next page that has these CRAN mirrors. And this is just different places that allow you to download R. Um, the easiest one to pick is the one at the very top, which is an automatic redirection. So we're just going to pick that one. So when we get here, we see we've got three options at the very top to download and install R. The first one, download R for Linux download R for Mac OS, or download R for Windows. So we're going to pick the third one, download R for Windows. I'm going to click on that. And then you see a few more options. But highlighted here is install R for the first time. That's what you want. So again, click on that. Finally, we get to the page that allows us to download the latest version. Now, as of December 2024, the latest version is R4.4.2 for Windows. So I'm going to click on that, and it will download to wherever my downloads folder is. Now, we can navigate there going directly for from the downloads, or I can shut down my Chrome browser and open up my um, file browser and just go to my downloads folder where, where we'll see R4.4.2. Now, to install it, it's just simple as double clicking on this. We double click and it's going to ask us for permission. It asked me for permission. I had to say yes, I can allow that to install on this computer. And then it says select your language. I'm going to select English, hit OK. Um, it asks you to accept the license. I'm going to click Next, and then select your destination destination location, and I'm just going to leave the default and click Next. And then it asks to select components. I'm going to leave all the defaults, click Next. And then it says, do you want to customize your startup options? And unless you really know what you're doing, I would say no, accept defaults, and click Next again. Finally, it says, do you want to create a start menu folder and just leave the letter R there. It says, yeah, that's great. It's going to call it R. We hit next. And then it goes through and says, select additional tasks. Do we want to create a desktop shortcut? Sure, we can leave that. Quicker, create a quick launch shortcut. Probably don't need that. And registry entries, yeah, I'd leave all the defaults. So we click next. And you can see here it's going ahead and it is installing. Um, the R package on our computer. So we'll just wait till that's finished. And then what you'll see is that it'll say completing and click finish. Now, what we see is up on my desktop now, I have an icon for R 4.4.2. Now, if I just run that, we're going to see that all I really get is this console with a flashing cursor. So this isn't really super intuitive or helpful or easy to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a secondary package. And we're going to install this package that's called RStudio. And it's what's called an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. And this allows us to work with R in a little bit easier way. So. Again, let's go back into our browser. And now we're going to search. I can just do it out of the top search bar for R Studio. Now, when you search for that, the first thing that will come up is this link from Posit, and it is R Studio Desktop. So we'll click on that. And we get there, we'll accept the cookies, that's fine. 
And it says, step one is to install R. Great, we've already done that. So the next step is install R Studio. So what's nice is this is a little bit easier to follow. It just says download R Studio setup for desktop for Windows. Big old link here. I'm just gonna click on that. And all it's doing is it's downloading again to my downloads folder. So once that's done, I'm going to close down my browser and then I'm going to open up my downloads folder again. If I find that there and I see that our studio is there. Now, if I double click on that, we'll go through an installation process. I had to select yes, I was um, accepting that it will install. Um, and we'll go through the installation process. Again, I'm just going to select all of the default values and just click next, 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 and finish, and it will install. So I'm gonna select defaults and it will install. So we'll wait for this to finish. Great, so that took basically less than a minute. And now it says our studio has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close, which I will is great. All right, now that our studio is installed, you won't be able to find it. it. Didn't create a link on your desktop, but you can find it by typing into the Windows search bar or using the Windows start button and typing our studio. So if I click on that, we'll see it starts up a program and our studio is in here behind me. All right, so hopefully that gets you up and going with our studio, and I will see you in the next tutorials to figure out how to start using this.